Well, ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a Golden Globe award-winning actress who stars as Dr. Rainbow Johnson on Blackish. Please welcome back to the show, Tracy Ellis Ross. to see you. I'm going to be in trouble with my wife tonight when Why? she sees this because I didn't help you up the stairs over there. Oh, no, you sort of did, but I needed extra help. But I should have anticipated. I'm a well, terrible host. No. No, this is going disastrously. I would beg to differ, sir. All right, I bow to your formal <laughs> accent. <laughs> Milady. Milady. Lovely to see you again. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Lovely to see you. Oh, I good. keep doing it. I can't. Uh, you, you, <laughs> my lady, you. What would Monsieur mean? No. Uh, okay. My sir. Is what my it means. sir. Uh, I love the, the tux you're wearing oh. right there. I like people a little more formal in late night. You don't see that very let me, often. Let me tell you something about this tux because I'm very me, proud of educate it. Educate me to this Tracy tux. Tracy Ellis Ross design for J.C. Penney. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, label? yeah, label? yeah, right there. Look the at that. Uh, 59, that is, that and there's, oh, 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 sure yeah, is. and there's TERs everywhere, and uh, 59 bucks for the pants, 59 bucks for the jacket, and the shirt. Um, come on. Life needs sparkles. Yes, it, it says does. Right there. 59, 59, and 29 for the shirt. Holy cow! I Affordable tell you, clothes for everybody, what a Stephen. Deal. You're losing money not buying that clothes. That's exactly right. And you can wear it anywhere. And what is wrong with have me? You, have you? <laughs> you know? Are you? Uh, are, do, have you been designing clothes for a long time? Is this I have a... not. This is my first. It's like a dream come true. I have been designing them in my head since I was a teenager. Okay. Um, and this is my first experience, and I'm so excited. It's a holiday line, J.C. Penney, out November 12th, and we announced yesterday. Well, that's awesome. I'm thrilled. That's yeah. awesome. Now, I imagine, like, since you were a teenager, I imagine a teenager, you had access to some pretty darn good clothes because. The best. Your, your 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 mother, the the, the lovely, talented, legendary Diana Ross, yeah. had, was a fashion icon of her yeah. own right. Yeah. Did you? You guys are probably about the same size, right? S sadly for her, we are. Okay. Yes, I. So um, would you raid? I raid. I call it shopping. <laughs> I call it shopping, and yes, I would raid. Still? Her Do you still go shopping? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, my sir. <laughs> I do. I call it shopping. My mom has an amazing taste, and unfortunately for her, as I said, she and I wear the same size. Mm -hmm. um, and like in high school, for example, I remember she was leaving to go for work, and she was going down the driveway, and I watched her go down the driveway, and I went in her closet, and I was like <laughs> taking everything I liked, because I like to put it in my closet as if it were mine, uh -huh. as opposed to like going to sneak it out of her closet. And she came back in, she had forgotten something, and I was like, I am just <laughs> helping to organize. <laughs> your closet as a surprise for when you get home. And did she buy that? No. Okay, good, good. <laughs> good. You also, I mean, I imagine there were, your, your childhood must have been full of kind of fun and there? things that seem strange. Have you, you know where the, what this is? Oh, my here? God, yes. Okay, so this is a photograph. How old are you in this photograph? I, I'm so bad at that. Eight, between eight and 12. <laughs> so here you are in eight and 12. Yes, and you've gone a, with your mother. This is a Polaroid taken by Andy Warhol. Okay. The Andy Warhol. Okay, so however, no, did if... not know who he was. Was just a weird man. <laughs> so then, then you knew who he was. Okay. <laughs> you knew who he was. But he made extraordinary art. So he was. He was professionally weird, though. He like wore the, the white wig and right. Which for me now, I'm like, oh my god, what an extraordinary human. But as a child, I was like, what is happening? Um, it was like in this airport hangar, huge place. It was like all painted floor, ceiling, walls, everything like mint green. Mm -hmm. Here and in the city. Here in the city. And he took pictures of us and we weren't meant to move and then he turned them into drawings and paintings. And mm -hmm. I now at 44 gonna get to say I was painted and photographed by Andy Warhol, which what is, is this, ridiculous. What is this saying? What is that expression do you think saying oh, right boy. there? She's like, who is this guy? Yeah. Mom, when I'm like, I'm like, listen. mom. <laughs> Right out of the corner of my eye. You'll thank keep, me later. Keep an You'll eye on your mom. Me later. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, season four. Which is insane. Season yes. four season of Blackish. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. And. Now listen.
Listen. Started last week. Started, start, we started last week. Started last week. And um, we started with the Juneteenth episode, which was a musical episode, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And right in line with the DNA of our show, we are jumping in on those heavy topics, even though we're a comedy. And this week, um, our episode is on postpartum. Yeah, this is an extraordinary yeah. thing you do. You, 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 you folks over there manage to tackle really weighty issues, but still keep it a comedy without yeah. any laugh track or anything like that. You guys yeah, are just you, I think doing writers, really incredible material. I think the writers are incredible. I really do. I think the way they enter the subject matter is interesting. Mm -hmm. The fact that we deal with these, you know, the N-word, gun control, police brutality, and still it's funny without us making fun of those topics is mm -hmm. really exciting. It makes it really fun work for me to do. We have a clip here. Of the, it's you and uh, Anthony Anderson yeah, from ABC's yeah. Blackish. Yeah. So what's happening in this scene right um, now? So uh, Bo is a doctor, and she's experiencing um, the symptoms of postpartum, but doesn't has never experienced that before, and mm. isn't quite ready to say that that's what's going on. A little and, bit in denial. Yeah, and Dre okay. is attempting to help her, so she, he finds a quiz in a magazine. Okay. And we take it. Jim. You know what might be fun? What? If we take this postpartum depression quiz together. <sighs> Dre, I don't want to do that. I'm. I'm okay. Totally. Totally. But I think we should we should take it just in case one of us has a debilitating mood disorder. Okay? So I'll go first. Do you feel sad, hopeless, overwhelmed, empty? That's a nope for me. How about you? Uh well, I I feel sad. Mm-hmm. And I feel hopeless, and I feel overwhelmed, but I don't feel empty, so I guess it's a no for me. Okay. This is fun. It was beautiful. It was beautiful before. It was really lovely. Thank you. And true. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. It's very true. Yeah, that it's very true. true. And, and it's a very real thing that um, many women experience, and it's not, um, it's not diagnosed because people are not comfortable coming forward. So I hope we do a little bit to help that. Well, uh, you you have an experience that I I could never experience. You know, what is, which is you you know a woman can have a baby. I could never have a baby and experience this. But you have another experience that I could never understand is what? that you do not drink coffee. No, that is water. Yes, you don't drink coffee or sugar. How do you in America today? In America, how do you escape drinking coffee? It is everywhere and it is the nectar of the gods. <laughs> First of all, I drank coffee once in high school during an exam, and we were in the gym, and I swear to God, I drank two sips, and I was like, oh, now this is weird, because I felt like my entire soul went up and slapped on the ceiling, and I was like, and the difficult part of it is that part knows all the answers to the questions. <laughs> I just, I'm a very, I have a very wiry, energetic personality, uh -huh. and so coffee and sugar and stimulants of any kind, even chocolate, yeah. make me feel like I'm having an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Wow. So, See, that's why I drink the coffee, is for <laughs> that. I don't that like that feeling. feeling. It keeps me awake all the time. It just feels like anxiety. It doesn't feel like like energy, so I go to sleep, or sometimes if it's re if I'm real tired, because you know I wake up at four o'clock in the morning for work. Sometimes I'll do jumping jacks, or I will wait. Wait, you at four o'clock in the morning you go and do jumping jacks? Yeah, or I'll do some yoga, or I will. I know this is crazy, but it's true. I'll dry brush. Have you ever dry brushed? I'm sorry, what? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's it's good for your circulation. <laughs> I'm like, so like sorry a, I brought like, it up. What kind of brush are we talking about here? It's like, like a, a it's l like a toilet brush. Oh, but it's oh. not. But it's not a toilet brush. But it's that firm. Of the bristles are that firm. And what does one do? You dry brush your skin. Yes. And it helps the circulation and it wakes you up. That sounds like ancient so, Romans, like whipping themselves with laurel branches or something like that. To me, it sounds so much healthier than a cup of coffee. I'll get you I some mean, better. I'll get you some look, better coffee. Clear, clear, clearly, better there's coffee. two people out there have, that don't drink coffee. I have. Everyone else is like, this? she's nuts. If Between I drink. Between every act of this show, serious? I get a fresh Can I hot smell? cup of black coffee. Between every act of this show. I mean, I think I would literally, you guys would watch me like, Whoop, and I would like just disappear. <laughs> I would be like, Whoop, be a great trick. Gone. Be a great trick. Be a great trick. You be want be me to disappear? Well, we do have to go to commercial. <laughs> It was lovely to see you. you Thank too. you so much for being here. Blackish airs Tuesday nights on ABC. Tracy, Alice Ross, everybody, we'll be right back with Luke Evans.